Hello, hello, hello. This is Elf Company from Bemis Crafty Corner, and today this is my project. This is a fabric or book cloth covered wraparound style traveler's notebook with all of the goodies on the inside. So, I'm going to go ahead and get together the supply list. I'll be right back to let you know what we're going to need, and then we'll go ahead and get started on okay, this. Okay, so what do we need for this one? Glue. I'm using some double-sided sticky tape. Bone folder. Sounds like a good plan. Straight razor, cutting knife, roller, cutter, whatever you got. A straight edge cutting board. Some paper in whatever design you want. Scoreboard. And I'm using some heat and bond light. Uh, you could use the heat and bond ultra, whatever you happen to have. I'm not going to go into how to make a book cloth completely because we've already done that. I'll link the video uh, at the end of this one. But basically you're going to want a piece of your heat and bond, piece of fabric. that is slightly larger than the heat and bond. You're going to want some tissue paper, then you're going to press this together at the hottest setting allowed for the fabric you are using. You will end up with a piece that looks like this. You're going to peel the backing off and put a piece of tissue paper over the back, press that on, trim it down to the size that you need, and then you're going to take that piece and attach it to a piece of butcher paper or whatever kind of paper you're going to use for the inside. Uh, for me, that is butcher paper from a roll. And I end up with this. So, um, I use tape around the edge just to make sure that I sealed the edge all the way around. And then I used glue in the middle and I let this dry. Now I'm going to come back and I'm going to go in at four and a half inches because my book, my books that I'm putting in, are about four and a quarter inches and I want to give a little bit of extra on the end. So I'm going to go in at four and a half. Okay. And I am going to score this. Eek. Now, I'm not going to bother scoring the other end, and the only reason I'm scoring this, I'm not really scoring it to score it. I'm simply scoring it to mark it, okay? So then, we'll move on to the next part. Next part is pretty simple. You're going to be using a pair of pliers. Uh, I'm sorry. A pair of brad pliers, or a pole punch. And you're going to go in on that line. You're going to go half an inch. So I've set mine for a depth of a half an inch. I'm going to go right on the line, make sure it's in the middle. And I'm going to poke a hole. Now I am going through fabric here. So it may be a little bit more difficult. So just have a small pair of scissors just to nip it if it needs to be nipped. And then I'm going to take my ruler. And I'm just going to find the center of one of my holes, just like that. And I'm just going to put a small mark, half an inch out on either side of my center line, just like we've done before, right through the middle, half an inch on either side. I'm going to come in a half an inch with my hole punch. I'm going to punch a hole on either side. And then I'm going to set some brads. It helps if I can see the hole. There we go. Okay. Now, because I did not use the ultra on this and I used the light, 
I can stitch around this with my machine just to secure this a little bit better. And I am probably going to be doing that, but I am going to be setting the brads. So I'm going to stitch first, then set my brads. And then I'm going to go ahead and string my line on this, my stretchy cord. And I'm going to be poking my hole in the center as well. Again, if you want to know how to do that, uh, I, there's plenty of videos. The easiest way that I have found is simply to fold it, find about the midpoint, take my hole punch, go about halfway in, and just take a small nip. And that's generally enough to set that line in the back. Okay? So, okay. So I am using some uh, cotton cord. This is elastic cord. I don't recommend getting this in the jewelry section because you'll get a huge, you know, a tiny little bit for a huge amount of money. You can pick this up at Walmart for about 75 cents a spool. Comes packaged like that. And you're going to want like one, two, three, four, about five, just over five lengths of your book. And pretty simple, we're going to go up from the outside at the bottom, middle, over, doesn't matter which direction you go, left or right here. And then back through the hole, down to the bottom, back up through the middle, back up through the top, out the hole on the other side. And then we're just going to kind of bring these together. Top, bottom, middle, doesn't matter. You're going to take the end, other end of the cord, put it through the hole. E! Go through the hole. There we go. Now, you don't want to draw these really tight, but you do want them to just kind of sit there. Okay? And then you're going to tie these two ends together using a square knot, or you can just do, you know, the... Wrap it around your finger and pull the ends through, however you want to do it. If you do the square knot, right over left, and then the left over the right, here's a trick. You want to pull on all four cords in four different directions. And that will tighten that knot up. Now, you also cannot get it back out. Now you have a piece left. This is the piece that we're going to be using to make the closure. So reserve this for later. Now take this and put it to the side. Okay? Okay, so let's take a look at how we made this little pocket. Okay? move this out of the way. Now these are the scraps that were left over when I cut down the 12 by 12 inch sheets uh, to 8.5 by 7.5 to make the small book. I then cut the paper down to 8 by 7.5. Yeah. So that the paper would be just a teeny little bit on the inside and give me enough clearance on the outside that when I folded it in, I didn't get creep rounded all the corners and quite simply this is just a piece of cardstock that is glued onto a piece of craft paper and that's pretty much it it makes a pretty durable thick cover and i've added some paper and just a simple pamphlet stitch i did use a five point stitch on this one and so we're going to talk about how to get that pocket inside so for that we are going to be using the remnants of the paper that we used we're going to be using some craft paper as well Okay, so to put our pocket in, I have a piece of my leftover that is three and a half by seven and a half. And all I'm going to do is put this in my guillotine and I'm going to decide kind of where I want that pocket, how deep I want the inside of the pocket to be. And I'm just going to cut that off. So now I have two pieces that are exactly the same, one that fits neatly behind the other and these can be glued or taped your choice but I am going to use my corner rounder at the bottom ok 
okay? That way I know that it's going to line up just the way that I want it inside. And then, see up here I have this rounded? So what I'm going to do is I'm probably just going to chop about an inch off of this piece right here. Just take it off. Okay. So there, there, there. Everything matches up. So I'm going to glue these two pieces together, and then I'm going to cut some one-inch strips, and I'll be right back. Okay, so we went ahead and cut some one-inch strips, and I put them onto a scoreboard. I just scored them down the middle. You can do this by hand. It's entirely up to you. Uh, I'm going to fold these in half. And then I'm just going to hit them with my bone folder real quick, just to kind of press that over. We've done this before. You guys have seen me do this to many pockets. We'll do that one, and we'll do this one. Go ahead. All right. So same thing as always, we're going to go from the folded edge to the outside edge, miter the corner. And then we're just going to kind of rough measure a piece here, almost to the curve. I'm going to cut that, miter that one as well. And then we will need a piece across the bottom. And the piece that you have left is not going to be big enough. So... I'm going to go right about there. Miter those as well. And then we're just going to glue this in. One half goes on the inside of the pocket, and the other half is going to go on the wall there of the notebook. Get our glue on. Put this kind of in the middle, making sure that our fold is right up against the edge. Okay, there we go, and we'll do the long one as well. I'm going almost to the top corner, but not quite. So I'm ending right here that leaves me just a little teeny piece at the top. And then down the side. Just like that. And then I'm just going to put some glue on the outside here. And I will put this pocket in. And that is going to give me that extra room that I need. Yes. To put in a larger item. There we go. Give it just a few seconds to dry. Now I can add another one to the back if I want to, or I can add a different kind of pocket to the back, or maybe even, um, you know, a smaller pocket might be something that I might be considering back here. It all depends on my personal taste and what I'm going to be using this for. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is we're going to be doing some decorating on these notebooks and we're going to be building our pocket set for the pocket inserts, okay? So I'll be back. Okay, so we have out the Vagabond and we are going to be cutting this shape out. I have chosen to cut this out of the embossed foil pack. Um, there's 24 sheets of embossed foil paper in here. And so I just kind of, you know, decided I would cut, like, green because it's a peacock. So we're going to cut this out real quick. All right. So that is one. And then I'm going to cut one on the other side as well because I want, I have two, two notebooks. I want two peacocks. Switch the direction the button and we're just going to feed it back through and then I'm going to get this out of here I'm going to put away my die 
and I'm going to clean this up and I'll be back to show you what it looks like once it's cleaned up. And once I've gotten this out. Of okay, so I have cut out two, two peacocks. Now here's the thing, people. This is a lesson to be learned. Do not cut intricate dies out of foil paper unless you literally want to sit there and go around all the edges with your pokey tool because this stuff peels. And it, so if you catch a little piece of it, you could peel the whole thing and have to start all over again. And it's a pain in the butt. We don't want to do that. So I want to put this on the cover of my notebook. And so I am going to be gluing these down onto the front covers of both of the notebooks. Because I kind of want that look. I kind of like it. I just don't know. Maybe straight up and down like this. Like make the, make the peacock straight up and down. Let the tail flourish. I don't know. But we're going to take a look at it. I'm going to get this uh, glued on here. It's going to take a lot of glue with my needle point glue to get this on. We're going to get it on. Once I have this on, we'll move on to making some pockets for this thing. And pretty much wrap it up. Okay? And just as we did before, we're going to be doing this on our scoreboard with a minimum amount of cutting. So I'm going to get my scoreboard up here and my scoring tool. And I'm going to be placing this in on the 11 inch side. And I'm just going to come to seven and a half score line and then I'm going to flip it up so that it's on the eight and a half inch side. I'm going to go to four and a quarter and I'm going to score straight down. That's it. Now again we're just going to fold this in half along the long score on the long edge here making sure that we line up our edges. Yeah. Nice and even. Okay. Once I have it nice and even, then I'll use my bone folder. Get that in there. And then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little bit of a wedge from the open edge up to that score that we made at seven and a half. Take that off. And now I have two pockets that will flip up independently of each other. We'll just match up the sides here. And then just go over this with the bone folder. We'll do the other side as well. Just like that. A little bit of glue along the edge. Now, if you wanted to make these pockets fuller, you can always put in the little bracket again on the side. You only need it on the one side. It just makes the pocket a little fuller. Uh, I choose not to do that on this one. So I'm just going to come down. Glue that in place. Come over to the other side. A little bit of glue right close to the edge here on this one. Go glue that one down, glue it up. So now it's just a matter of decorating this, and there's a couple of ways we can do it. One, we can make more book cloth out of our fabric, and we can use our fabric and place it on here and make fabric covers for our pockets. We can use just regular paper, whatever paper we choose. that matches our design. We can also go with the same metallic that we had used to make our peacocks. And I'm going to clip these corners. Now I can leave this just plain. I can add a pocket to the front. Uh, I can add a whole sheet of paper to it, whatever I want to do. Uh, Alright, so here she is. Uh, this is the prototype, you know, not necessarily perfected yet, but it's close. So um, I went ahead and I zigzagged all the way around, you know, just to add it in with uh, variegated thread. So you get a little difference of a color as you go around. 
So we went ahead and did that. And then uh, we'll start at the front. So on the front, I put in a notebook, which I put this peacock on that I cut from some foil. So it has a little detail on top of the detail. And that's just a little notebook. And then inside, I'm going to tuck one of these little calendars to your calendars, right? And I gusted the pocket there so that that will fit, you know, very nicely in that pocket and have plenty of space for it to fit. And then on the second one, I just put a small pocket here in the front and a couple of pockets on the inside and then that little slat pocket in the back. And of course, because this is the same book, we put the same peacock on the front of it just to carry it with the peacock feathers all the way through and yet another gusseted pocket here for anything that you might need to carry. And then on this one, I did a little something different. I put a very deep pocket here. This is a very, very deep. It's more than half the page. And I just hollowed it out a little bit here so that you can put a tag or receipts or something in there. And then on the inside, I just put a little slash pocket on the side over here. And as I said, this is not, you know, this is the prototype, so it's not perfect. Uh, the pocket doesn't fit quite right, but, you know. And then here, I decided to do something completely different, and I used some plastic snaps and created this sort of accordion fold pocket here so that you can put a lot of things in. And that just snaps shut. And then I left the back bare. I'll probably end up putting a like a notepad or something here to write on. But that's it. That's kind of my prototype journal. And that's kind of the whole thing, guys. So I will be doing uh, some tutorials on how to do that last pocket. And that's it. it. So until the next time, guys. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button for me. Let me ring my bell and share me with all your friends. Because I'm making these soft-covered traveler's notebook things. Yes, I am. Bye-bye.